the most beautiful act of faith is the one made in darkness, in sacrificing and with extreme effort. Idleness is the enemy of the soul, and therefore the brethren ought to be employed in manual labor at certain times, at others in devout reading. Acquire a peaceful spirit, and thousands around you will be saved. The fruits of the earth are not brought to perfection immediately, but by time, rain and care. Similarly, the fruits of men ripen through ascetic practice, study, time, perseverance, self-control and patience. Do not believe your thoughts, neither when they tell you that you are terrible, nor when they tell you that you are a saint. So in every test, let us say, thank you, my God, because this was needed for my salvation. All the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. Our labor here is brief, but the reward is eternal. Do not be disturbed by the clamor of the world, which passes like a shadow. Do not let false delights of a deceptive world deceive you. Run while you have the light of life. Regard as free, not those whose status makes them outwardly free, but those who are free in their character and conduct. For we should not call men truly free when they are wicked and dissolute, since they are slaves to worldly passions. Freedom and happiness of soul consist in genuine purity and detachment from transitory things. The goal is to rise spiritually, not simply to avoid sin. It is a bigger miracle to be patient and refrain from anger than it is to control the demons which fly through the air. A time is coming when men will go mad, and when they see someone who is not mad, they will attack him, saying, You are mad. You are not like us. The person who abides in solitude and quiet is delivered from fighting three battles, hearing, speech and sight. Then there remains one battle to fight, the battle of the heart. Be content to progress with slow steps until you have legs to run and wings with which to fly. The dragon sits by the side of the road, watching those who pass. Beware, lest he devour you. We go to the father of souls, but it is necessary to pass by the dragon. Be careful to be gentle, lest in removing the rust, you break the whole instrument. What is it that stands higher than words? Action. What is it that stands higher than action? Silence. Live simply and without thinking too much, like a child with his father. Faith without too much thinking works wonders. The logical mind hinders the grace of God and miracles. Practice patience without judging with the logical mind. The truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose. It will defend itself. What does love look like? It has the hands to help others. It has the feet to hasten to the poor and needy. It has eyes to see misery and want. 
It has the ears to hear the sighs and sorrows of men. That is what love looks like. The root of all evil is I, me, mine. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Expect temptation to your last breath. Without the burden of afflictions, it is impossible to reach the height of grace. The gift of grace increases as the struggle increases. Start by doing what is necessary, then do what is possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Remember that when you leave this earth, you can take with you nothing that you have received, only what you have given. A full heart, enriched by honest service, love, sacrifice and courage. By the anxieties and worries of this life, Satan tries to dull a man's heart and make a dwelling for himself there. Hope has two beautiful daughters. Their names are anger and courage. Anger at the way things are. And courage to see that they do not remain as they are. There is no saint without a past. And no sinner without a future. Life is a night spent in an uncomfortable inn. He should first show them in deeds, rather than words, all that is good and holy. Before all and above all, attention shall be paid to the care of the sick, so that they shall be served as if they were Christ himself. As gifts increase in you, let your humility grow. For you must consider that everything is given to you on loan. Remember that you have only one soul, and that you have only one death to die, and that you have only one life. If you do this, there will be many things about which you care nothing. Take care of your body as if you were going to live forever and take care of your soul as if you are going to die tomorrow. Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. 